Welcome students. In this lesson, you are going to write your own playlist. Last time we looked at the New York Times column, the playlist, you analyzed what the critics included in their playlist, how they wrote about the music, and now it's your turn. You're going to write your own. You're gonna create your own annotated playlist of songs around a particular topic, theme, or event modeled after the playlist column. So last time I showed you this one, and the theme for this one was very simple. I liked it. You may not know these 15 songs, but you've heard them. So the first thing you're going to do is decide on your theme, your topic, or event. What it is it? What is it that you're going to create a playlist around? I would encourage you to check out your Spotify or iTunes, see what kind of playlist you already have, and see if you can work with anything you've already created or curated. Um, think about anything. Think about... Um, uh, what it's like doing online learning. I don't know, maybe you make a, a theme for online learning. Maybe you make a, uh, an event. Maybe it's, uh, oh, first date music or whatever it might be. Pick a theme, curate a playlist for that theme. Once you've got that theme, you're going to create a list of five to seven songs that relate to it. That's all, just five to seven. Then you are going to write a one paragraph explanation about each song. So in all this paper that you're writing, paper is the wrong word, playlist. This playlist is going to be about six paragraphs, maybe a little bit more. I'll show you that in a sec. So for each song that you select, you are going to write a paragraph long annotation and like the Times Critic, you're going to include a few things of information. You're going to provide relevant background information on each track. So the first sentence for each track should, is going to probably, not necessarily, probably be, uh, this is the name of the artist, this is uh, the name of the song, this is when it was created, kind of the genre, maybe a little bit of the context, maybe the, like who, I mean, I mean, I don't know, maybe if it was a Justin Bieber song, maybe he was responding to something that Ariana Grande, I didn't, who did he date? Selena Gomez? Celine Dion? I don't know who he dated, but maybe that would be the context. In this uh, pop song, um, Justin Bieber tells uh, his ex-girlfriend something about you, don't like me, you can go love yourself. Something like, I don't know, maybe write about something. That's your first one. Now, the next few songs, the next few sentences in each explanation, you're going to do two things. Number one, you are going to do your very best to describe that song and perhaps the music video. So you are going to explain how the song relates to your topic, theme, event, and you're going to do that by including details from the song, the lyrics, instrumentals, rhythm, or melodies that speak to that topic. You're gonna to wanna write this with style. I want you to be proud of your playlist at the end. Format your piece like the playlist column, give it a title. I've got a template below, I'll show you. Okay, so, oh, number five, we're not gonna do that for this online class. My in-person students are gonna do that one. You're not gonna have to share with other people um, unless you would like to. Okay, so first I've got two student samples for you. This one is Ashley's. She chose the theme with the event stages of a road trip. So you can go ahead and read Ashley's right here. So you'll notice a few things. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, so Stages of a Road Trip by Ashley Davis. Right here, she's got the introduction to her playlist. She's telling the reader, dear reader, this is when and where you would listen to these songs. Here's why I created it for you. Then we've got Neon Trees, Everybody Talks. And then she, uh, and then she explains how this song fits in with this theme. Now we've got Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Whew, one of my favorites. I'm kidding. I grew up in the 90s. I hated the Backstreet Boys. You've got this right there. Van Halen, Jump. You've got the explanation. Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. Um, Electric Night Orchestra, Mr. Blue Sky. So if you want some good student examples and see what other students have done, read Ashley's. It's incredible. I've got another one for you. This one is from one of my students read and they did a phenomenal job with this playlist. I love their take on it. A playlist for all the misunderstood 
fallen heroes. And then Reed went a step further and made the whole thing available on Spotify. You can check that out. And then Reed has an incredible explanation of each one. I do want you to notice something here. Um, a lot of the music we listen to, a lot of the pop culture, isn't always school appropriate. And if you want to include a few songs that may or may not be school appropriate, you can do so, but just maybe uh, do what Reed has done right here when they said, right here, uh, this might have some content in here that may make some listeners or viewers uncomfortable. So we appreciate that warning right there. It was just uh, that little tag right there. You can do that too. So now that you've seen, you've analyzed the Times playlist, now you've seen two student samples, now it's time for you to write your own. So I've made a template for you, and this template should make this whole process a little bit easier. So you're going to go ahead and make a copy of that. Now, remember, when you submit this to me, you're going to submit the URL. Be sure to change the sharing settings. You're going to change it to anyone with the link is editor. I'm not going to edit your documents, but then I can actually see everything in there. So you've got it right here. Clever title. Includes your name. This is now going to be your one paragraph introduction to your playlist. Um, we'll go back to the times right here. You might want to borrow this sentence or something similar to this in, in part of your introduction. Maybe it's the last sentence of your introduction. Here are five songs that you might introduce your theme. When, when would someone, who would listen to this, when they would listen to it, and why they would listen to it. So that's your introduction. Now you're going to have the name of the artist, the song, title of the song, and don't forget the hyperlink. Make it easy for your readers to find this music. So let's go, let me show you how to do a hyperlink on a Google Doc real quick. So let's find a video. All right, how about the climb? I don't want, I want the song by Miley Cyrus. The climb, Miley Cyrus. Here we go. All right, so let's say I'm linking to this YouTube video. Okay, so we've got this. I've paused it. Sorry, Miley. We're not listening to you. We're listening to a much better voice. So when you do this, you're going to write Miley Cyrus. Oh, how do I spell Cyrus? S Y R Cyrus. Oh, wow. Good enough for me. Um, you'll type the name in here. The climb. Okay. So don't just paste the URL right here. That's ugly. Nobody wants that. When you press space, yes, it automatically links there, but that's still ugly. We want to clean it up, make it look a little more professional. So here's what you're going to do instead. Notice what Reed did. Got the hyperlinks. Notice what Ashley did. Got the hyperlinks. You can highlight the words you want to hyperlink. Come up here, click this button, insert link, or keyboard shortcut, control K, and paste that in there. Boom. It looks so much more beautiful that way. Then, of course, if you've got some uh, perhaps not school appropriate content, careful with it, um, you can write. It. That way, you've got a warning for your readers. That's what you are going to do. Okay, folks, I'm excited to read your playlist to figure out a little bit more about you guys by listening to some of the music that means so much to you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. As always, this is Mr. Bockelt. Keep reading, keep writing, keep listening to music, keep learning.